Yo, 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 what's up, MG fam? It's your boy, Coach McGruff. I'm back. Back with another episode of the Furman Paladins Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. But man, we are on a roll. A roll this year, six games in a row. We are undefeated in the conference. And man, we're looking to extend this win streak this week against the University of South Alabama. And this is going to be a pretty talented team. But first, we're going to get into some recruiting. We have some key signings this week. And let's check them out. So we're currently sitting at 118 ranked in recruiting classes. But we believe this is going to change with a couple of guys that we're going to add. So five signees already. And the first one on the board is Mr. Williams. He's a tackle, six foot eight kid, 259, more of a pass blocker than anything. And we're looking for him to seal that outside for us to help, you know, my boy Robbie Clark to stay up in there and get some passes off. And we also got Graham the center, another guy to help up front in the guard. We're trying to kill on his offensive line. And we also got guard in there, the free safety. Gonna help us out on defense, but look at Maynard, a 6'6 quarterback, another pocket passer, maybe a little scrambler at that too, but he's gonna be a pretty good good backup to start this thing so right now let's check out this conference standards you guys can see 6-0 in the conference the next team up is Arkansas State and Georgia Southern see South Alabama is a one loss team also so we're gonna keep our eyes on them guys in this game coming up so we're not the most talented team on paper but man we've been fighting our way you know through games solidifying victories and coming out at the end on top and that's major and it's mostly becoming from our defensive line man our defensive line and right here you can see we got one of the top defensive linemen in the conference and plus the country bro mr noah curtis he's got 25 tackles 14 tackles for loss assisted tackle 12 sacks man and two forced fumbles which got him up for the bednarik award number six in the running for the bednarik Award. and this is not the only award that he's up for the nagurski he's the number one ranked defensive lineman for the nagurski the transfer kid from Delray Beach, Florida. Man, he's been doing wonders for us. The Lombardi Trophy, he's up for number one on that one. And we also have another defensive lineman in this running too at the four spot. We got Mr. Ross down there. I know you guys see him, man. It's going to be a pretty interesting, you know, year when it ends out for the finalists for this award because Ross is sitting right there with five sacks, two fours for him, 21 tackles from loss. This kid was a defensive end last year. He converted to the tackle. You can see he's kind of undersized, 6'3", 224, but he is very fast. His finesse moves is getting him in the backfield a lot this year, a lot. So you can see he had five sacks. Last year, he only had four in the total season. The years before that, he combined for three sacks total. So he is going off the meter. So that kid is doing his thing. But right now, we're about to get into this game against the South Alabama Guys, man, these Jaguars, they're pretty athletic off the edge, and they're going to be looking to do a lot of great things. Sporting a 5-2 and two record, if they can get a win, they will become 6-2, and two, but we're not going to let them put this blemish on our record in our conference schedule, bro. We're trying to stay perfect for our conference schedule, and you can see right there, the overall rating of these guys is slightly better than ours, and man, I'm trying to tell you, on paper, these guys look great. Defensively is what I'm really keying on. Is these guys going to be that good defensively? Offensively, we know they're pretty decent. So you can see they're killing us in all offensive categories, but we got them in the defensive category. It's going to be a pretty balanced game. So there's, I'm not looking for a blowout or a shutout. So it may be pretty close. So the last four games, we only allowed 10 points. Man, our defense stepped up to the plate, and we were able to get a few victories against some quality opponents. These opponents, you know, were no pushovers, especially that last game of this ULM. It was pretty interesting. Texas State, we only beat those guys by seven, and it's a lot of great things happening for us this year. So our South Alabama was able to beat a SET team in their first game. Mississippi State went down, and they beat a 20. 8 to 19 so that that raises our antennas immediately but they came around and lost to san diego state 54 to 7 is a very ugly loss for those guys and robbie clark man he did a little something last game mostly on the ground but the passing game is you know it's coming along coming along but we're looking for him to have a big game in the passing game this week man he got to do his thing and palmer and only 60 yards per game we got to get this thing up but these guys on the other hand have a pretty efficient quarterback in clark 11 tds to five interceptions his completion rate rating is um at least 50 percent 
but the running game for these guys is a struggle just like ours Rivera we're not worried about him but the wide receiver Daly Jr only two receptions last game but he's averaging 68 yards per game so man we ready to get into it we got some key kids coming in this week these kids will be here you can see jason morris the wide receiver number 68 wide receiver in the nation he want his 250 yards pass he want to see us toss that thing so we're going to try to toss it a little better and mccutcheon's in a linebacker and another tackle man so we're going to try to get this thing popping and we're ready to get it on baby it's time to get on to paladin's field when we're about to do our thing let's get it so we here baby we ready to get this kickoff going the game has started and let's go so they're going to receive the ball first here it's going to be interesting to see how they do so that is daily junior back there the top wide receiver returning the ball very risky thing to do for a coach to put your best wide receiver at kickoff return it's tough so coming out we ready to get it on defense. We're going to send some guys up the middle right here immediately. Let's see what Austin does in the backfield. Austin Clark, he drops back and he launches it. Oh, man, he throws that one out of the area of his receiver. It was double coverage. He knew that would have been a risky pass. We could have picked it off and he would have got a little closer to him. So they're going trips to the left side of the field here. And, baby, you already know. We're going to zone. But we got a good pass rush up front. But Austin able to step up and he finds his running back. And, man, they didn't get anything. They lose one yard here on their first drive looking like they're coming out a little flat here and i think the crowd is getting to us a sold out stadium and we're ready to get to him so we're going to send some pressure off the weak side here and he was able to find the receiver flinner and flinner got the first down man 12 yard reception we broke on the third down there we can't break we can bend but just don't break and we got to get a stop here let's go so he coming back out here with a fresh set of downs and we're going to try to get some pressure on him. we got to make this guy a little hesitant in the pocket man we got to get him agitated get all on him so look at Rivero he catches a counter player there he breaks one tackle and boy we got a fumble there who was on it the best defensive lineman in the nation my boy Noah Curtis let's get it baby so we coming out with it after that turnover let's see what my boy Robbie Clark got he got Palmer in the backfield let's see we're gonna run a read option here do we have anything? He holds it, and my boy Palmer get blew up, man. I thought he was going to lose that ball. That was a hard hit. So we back with it one more time, baby. Second and seven. Robbie, what you got for us? We're going to hand it off to Palmer again. See what you got. They stacking the box in the middle, and my goodness, they blowing up, man. They blowing it up. We got to be able to, you know, get some push up front so we can free up this running back and the quarterback on the read option so let's go so we're gonna run a screen play here since it's sending a lot of pressure see what we got here and palmer catches it he breaks one tackle and he gets to the edge with not enough room for him to get the first down only seven yards on that reception let's get it so they got the ball here five minutes left in the first quarter let's see what these guys got up their sleeve third and ten they, i wonder if they're gonna convert this one because they struggle the last drive and see if we can get something on top of them so we got a little pressure there on him and he launches that and got flinner again flinner is out there running like crazy man he's catching those outward post routes and doing his thing with it so let's go so they're coming back with first and ten they're pushing it they're gonna try to score in this drive but we're gonna try to get a stop so we got a little pressure up the front and man he gets rid of that one to his running back he breaks one tackle and my goodness he almost has the first down second and inches big play for the quarterback to get rid of that amidst the pressure let's get it so we're going to bring some pressure from the DB set right here, man, and see what they got. So Crenshaw gets it, breaks a tackle, and my goodness, he got some edge. Can we get on? Olasanya is right there, but he gets steps on, and, man, they fall into the end zone. Andrew Crenshaw, the backup running back, was able to break a huge game there. How did we miss that first tackle? I don't believe. I don't understand. Let's get it. So we coming back out of ourselves, man. We're going to have to put seven on the board to match these guys. We know they're pretty good offensively. So Robbie rolls out. He launches it, and he has Sutter on the edge, and that's a big grab right there. Good way to feel the pressure and move around in the pocket and launch it until you one of your receivers. Let's go. So first and 10 here, we're going to run straight flies here. We're going to try to catch these guys slipping. 
So drop back Robbie, and he launches one across the middle, and Brown catches it there, the big tight end, and a 26-yard reception. Yes, sir. So it looking like we're threatened to score on this drive also. Hey, the way it's going right now, it may be a shootout. We thought we wasn't going to have one, but it may be. So they're able to get on Palmer right there on the third and 11, and they stop us, man. They stop us from getting the first down. So we're going to have to kick a field goal here. Do he got enough leg? Um, I don't believe so, man. Right there, barely short. We should have put a little bit more on it, but he was able to, you know, get close at least. So we're going to come back out on the next drive. These guys got it again. They're going to try to score one more time. Let's see. And he fakes that one. Look, a Flinner. Flinner keep finding himself wide open. He finding the soft spots in our secondary. We got to be able to key on this kid. Is he a slot? Yes, he is. He's sitting at slot number 18 right there. Must keep our eyes on him. We're going to have to play man coverage. Let's go. So we get something right here. And my goodness, Baker catches it across the middle. And these guys got a first down here. With a 12-yard reception. These boys are catching the ball. They're doing what they have to do. They're playing very disciplined. And we're going to have to key on some of the mistakes. So 38 here. If we can get a stop here, it would be great for us. We're going to send two linebackers in the middle. And my goodness, it's a screenplay. And we're on top of Rivero. Nothing is there for the young fella. And that's what I'm talking about, Pat. And get on top of him. So we're coming back with it, baby. It's second and four. It's second and four right now. And we're going to try to get a first down. Let's see what we got. So Robbie rolls out here. And he's going to try to find somebody. He finds Brown. But Brown barely holds on to it. And he drops it, man. So we got a third and four here. So we're going to have to convert this. We're going to run the screenplay. We had a little success, but not able to get first downs with it. But I believe we got it his time. But oh, my goodness. We threw an interception to the defensive end. Is that him? And he breaks a tackle, and he keeps moving. And he's in the touchdown for a score. Chris Henderson, left end. He was there. I tried to dump it over his head, but it wasn't able to get there. And he got a big touchdown. It probably his first score of his whole career, man. We cannot be giving away touchdowns on the defensive side. So we're down by two scores here. They got the ball here with seven minutes left in the second quarter. And look who got it, the quarterback. We missed one tackle. We diving all over the place looking nasty. And my goodness, don't tell me they about to put 21 on our head before half. And he scores, man. 119 rushing yards in the first half. And the quarterback breaks a big one for us. We look very bad starting this game off. Is this the game that we lose our winning streak, bro? We can't let these guys break it. So we coming back with it. Robbie doing a play action fake, and he lost it to his boy Tuttons and he dies out there and go get it baby the Tuttons had a little bit more speed he could have ran up under that one and got a touchdown but hey we'll take that big game good way to scratch your body out and go out there and get those extras let's go so let's get it so we're here with it with four minutes let's see if we can get a score on the board before half we can't go in with a zero on the board so we throw it across the middle to Palmer and he catches it there baby that's exactly what we want to do he caught it and with second and inches we're going to try to get up in the end zone so we're going to throw it this time they think we're gonna pass it. we see Tuttons over there and a nice little catch and that's a touchdown baby a quick score four yard TD from my boy James Tuttons and my boy Robbie Clark gets us on the board with seven here so we're not giving up so we're still with it baby second quarter still we got three minutes and 35 seconds left we're gonna try to find something here and my boy Palmer didn't find much room going on there just three yards and boy he is injured it looked like he's not getting up you can see right there the young fella is out and man he's been injured multiple times this year so we're gonna have to you know get somebody to step in we got Charlie Hawkins our backer who could start for many teams in the conference and we're gonna see what he can do for us so Robbie finds Tuttons one more time and Tuttons is making some big grabs today big grabs 15 yard reception there and they said my boy Palmer is out for one quarter with a screen pectoral so we're not gonna risk him to put him back in the game and we're gonna launch it here my goodness my boy Robbie Clark took a chance and we got to take a chance on it every once in a while but luckily it wasn't an interception but uh, yeah so Palmer's gonna sit down for a quarter we're gonna leave it like that so my boy Hawkins gets a screenplay he breaks one two tackles and he's going can he get a touchdown on this score and yes sir that's seven points there from the backup running back Charlie Hawkins and man that's what we needed to get on the board before half again and we're only down by seven before the half and it is halftime now baby so we can come back in here and get a score here on the first drive we'll be doing well so the, you can look at the stats here the almost a similar amount of plays almost identical yards but we're down by one score and you know what that came from that seven points came from that turnover that we gave up to the left end for a score and Robert Clark drops back here on the first 
down and he gets a 10 yard reception to James Tuttons. This guy's going across the field. He has 74 yards on four receptions already. And we're going to try to get a little bit more extra. Let's go. So Palmer's back in the game right now, baby. And he's finding holes here, baby. And that's a good way to break one tackle. And he's steady rolling and rumbling. He runs hard, so you can kind of believe why he gets into injury problems because he puts his head down and going. We love it. So 34 yards on eight carries for him. So, man, we got nine first down to their nine. And look who we got right here, baby. Tuttons, another grab. And he rolls out to a first down. He's going. He looking like he creeping on 100 yards. And my boy Robert Clark has two TDs, 233 yards in the third quarter. Let's go. He's trying to go for 300. Let's get what we got. So, Robbie drops back and he finds Suttles there. And my goodness, big grab. I wish he could have broke one tackle. We would have went straight to the end zone. We would have went straight to the end zone. So we back with it again, baby. First and 10. This will be a quick score for us. Third quarter. Let's go. Look at my boy Palmer. Finding holes and moving, baby. With 50 seconds left, we got to try to get on the board before this quarter is over with. So we can have a fresh quarter where the score is tied, which is like 0-0. Zero to zero. So we're going to run a similar play like we did last time. And we got Tuts in there on the same play. His second TD in the game. That's two touchdowns for Tuttons and three touchdown passes. For my boy Robbie Clark, and that's what we got. We got it tied up here with only four seconds left into the third quarter. Let's see what we got, baby. We're gonna send that pressure up the middle and let's see. All right, so Alden Clark he passes it. Oh my goodness, nice way to find your tight end for a first down here. And they're gonna start this fourth quarter. The score could might as well be. Zero to zero because anybody's game right now. So Ross got a nice little spin move. And Daly Jr., the top wide out, gets a grab right across the middle. And we face mask the kid. We face mask the kid, and that's going to be 15 yards on us. And they're going to go get some extra. And these guys are threatening again to get another score on the board. We're going to have to get a turnover or something. We can't give up three points if we want to stay ahead. So let's go. Alden Clark dropped back, and he launches it. Oh, my goodness. And who else was it? It was the guy. The guy, number 18. And that would have been a big grab. I'm glad he didn't have enough wheels to get up under that thing. Let's go. So, back with it. Second and 10, man. We're going to run cover four here. And they got a screen play going. And Rivero gets it right here. Can we get on top of it? He breaks one tackle. We knock him back a few yards. And only got him a couple yards on that one. So, it's third and six. And, man, they're 33% convert. Mm. They third down, so we got to stay on top of them right here. See if we can get a push. And they run the screenplay once again, and Patton is there on that one. Big tackle for Patton, and good way to read that play right there to get on top. So they're going to kick a field goal here. Let's see what these guys are going to do. See if we can get a block or something. Maybe they're going to miss it. Let's see. Ready? And they kick it. And what's it? Wide right, baby. All the way. He had enough leg under it, but not enough accuracy, baby. Not enough accuracy. So let's go. Already, we're gonna run a read option. He holds it there. Look at my boy Palmer, he is moving that thing. Oh my goodness, I think he's gonna go to the end zone, but no, man, that's enough for us. Let's go. We threaten to score one more time, baby. Threaten to score. We're gonna run this screen play here. Palmer, can you get your touchdown for screen right here? Let's go. He got it here, and my goodness, he finding the edge, and uh, he ran over one player and gets the first down for it. Six minutes left. Six minutes is left. So Robbie got it right here up on the center. Tuttons in motion. And we're trying to find something here. And oh my goodness, almost got a sack on us that time, man. Almost a sack. That would have been hurtful if we would have got sacked right there. So third and 11, a very risky down here. We're going to have to find something. We got the tight end going across the middle. And he grabs it right there. And that's a big, big grab for David Brown. And that's another touchdown for my boy Robbie. Four TDs, only two interceptions, and he's looking wonderful. He's coming in the clutch for us. So four minutes and 19 seconds left. These guys couldn't get much going, and we got it back here. My boy Robbie rolls out and finds his tight end, and look at my boy Brown. He coming in the clutch in the fourth quarter and a 20-yard reception, and it's only four minutes left, and we got another first down. So we're going to try to hold the ball a little bit. Let's see if we can get another first down to get these guys to start calling timeouts. And um, Tuttons grab another one right there. 11 yard reception for him. That should put him at 100. Oh man, just at 99 on 8 receptions? Hey, he's trying to get 100. He don't care. He's going to try his best to get 100. So man, 
Robbie drops out again, and look at their Heinz grab boy. Robbie is just on fire this game, man. Robbie's got 325 yards passing. Second and three here, man. We going to the end zone winning. Look at Palmer. He's rumbling and bumbling all the way through the, the offensive line. With 97 yards rushing on 12 carries, man. We about to have a 100-yard rusher and a 100-yard receiver. Let's get it. So Palmer gets it here, and that's 100 yards for him and a score, baby. 100 yards and a score, and we're now up by 14 points, baby, and we ready to close this thing out. Had a rough first half, but the second half, we were able to find something and get our game going, baby. So they got it here, and they're going to try to, you know, they're not giving up. And they throwing it up. We almost had an intercept. You got to put two hands up, young fella, but good way to knock it down. He could have killed the game right there. All right, so they're going to come back with it. They got, what, three wides, I believe? Yes, sir, three wide, and they're going to try to get something from Clark here. And he launches it, and my goodness, good way to dive out there for Daly Jr., and to get that grab, man. This kid right here is, you know, he's a all-conference wide receiver. And they're running the hurry-up offense right now. Let's see what we got, baby. The hurry-up offense. And Clark drops back. Can we get a sack? No. And he launches that one all the way. And look who got it. Baker. Kawan Baker. 44-yard reception. That was a deep throw. That was a deep throw. And my goodness, he broke the passing TD record for his school. 22 TD passes in a career. And let's go with it. So, back up on the center is my boy Clark. We're going to just have to hold it here, man, and see if we can get this game out of reach. And look at Palmer, man. This guy's moving and moving around, baby. And that's what I'm talking about. So, second and inches here. If we get a first down here, they're going to start calling timers. I believe so. So, we got something going on. So, Robbie's going to roll. No, he launches that one across the middle, and Brown grabs it. He pulls it down the phone. Good way to adjust to make that catch baby so one minute and 57 seconds left they're out of timeouts and look who got it my boy hawkers and it's the game there baby it's nothing else you could do it's nothing else you could do and that's it baby that should wrap it up for us and my goodness a big run to close this game out they don't have any timeouts and that should be it and we won this one baby this game is officially over and what i would say is Robbie Clark's best game in his whole career, 346 yards passing, four TDs, man. Off of a no TD, I mean no passing TD game, last week he didn't even make a passing TD. He just ran for three, but this week he was thrown for four, and that's what I'm talking about. Two back-to-back -back big weeks from this freshman from Summit, New Jersey, 25 completion, 39 attempts, 346 yards, 64%. Completion rating, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Four TDs and two interceptions. And look at the running game. We were able to get 112 yards on 15 carries. That's the best we did all year long on the ground, man. And no fumbles. No fumbles in this game. And Hawkins, the backup, was able to get us 41 on six carries. That's 6.8. Boy, we averaged over five yards per touch, man. Five yards per touch and two big 30-yard bursts that got us out top. And my boy Tuttons went over for 100. He had nine receptions for 106. Only one drop, man. 45-yard reception was the biggest one that we've seen today. And two TDs, they're probably the most he scored in his whole college career. And look at Brown there. David Brown, four yards, I mean, four receptions and 78 yards and one TD. And on the defensive side of things, man, the defensive line was able to do a little something. That boy Brian Ross got another sack. Kerry Mason got him a sack. And the strong safety, um, Martin Dell got him a sack. What more can you ask from your team, bro? What more can you ask from them? The team has come together. And, you know, I believe, man, we could be maybe a top 25 team right now, man. I'm looking to see if we're going to climb in the polls. So right here you can see the game comparison. We took over the second half. First downs, we got those guys by eight. Total offense, man, almost 150 yards more than these guys but both offenses were explosive this game and um the running games for both teams was pretty good but we were able to get these guys by 169 yards but they had two tds on the ground but our passing game took the cake for the whole game bro my boy robbie clark put 346 in the l the most passing yards for the whole season man and the third down conversions they was able to get on top of us on that one but hey we ain't had too many they had they had as many as we did i mean 
in the red zone, we got in there way more than they did. And the turnovers, very equal, man. We could have limited that first turnover. I think we could have blew this game open early, earlier than what happened today. And, man, this was a pretty good game for us. And I believe, man, we, we are the best team in the conference. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And appreciate you guys watching this video. Hit that like and subscribe button, that notification bell, and holler at your boy MG Fam. It's your boy. Let's go.